My name is Moyes Jamal. I'm the Managing Director of Associated Motors Limited. Associated Motors introduced uh, the Isuzu brand of uh, commercial vehicles into Kenya a little over 55 years ago. We've been with Family Bank a little over a year now. We've had a very good experience. There's always interaction between ourselves and, and the team at Family Bank. They've worked with us very much as part of the AM family. As a partner, they've uh, always wanted to understand our business. In many ways, the name of the bank reflects what they do. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. My name is John Karoga. I'm an exporter of uh, horticultural product. We grow our flowers in Mount Kenya. We do our vegetables in different parts of Kenya. I met people who had been with Family Bank and they encouraged me to join Family Bank. It's about uh, five years now, five to six years. We have been working together. It's working well. I have not regretted since I joined them. They've got very professional managers and I keep on telling them, this is to me is like a second home. During the COVID time, they financed me. And I'm very confident that uh, the bank will be with me as I expand the business. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. What is family? Family is a solid foundation to build on and a strong pillar to lean on. It is believing in each one of us for the betterment of all of us. Family is working together today It is creating opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. It is knowing we are valued, respected, understood, and most of all, supported. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank, with you for life. My name is Jasfati Ngamau. I'm a director of Kikinga House Limited. There are two more directors. My business entails construction and management of this building. We started banking with Family Bank when it was uh, building society. Actually, Family Bank uh, was a tenant at this building for 23 years. Uh, throughout the journey, we've always had a very good interactive kind of business relationship. When you started building, we also had to change the structure of the building and we had to get for the finance. About 80% was financed by Family Bank. Interestingly, we've never had an account with any other bank. We don't intend to. It's good when you've got a trusted partner. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family.
name is Moyes Jamal. I'm the Managing Director of Associated Motors Limited. Associated Motors introduced uh, the Isuzu brand of commercial vehicles into Kenya a little over 55 years ago. We've been with Family Bank a little over a year now. We've had a very good experience. There's always interaction between ourselves and, and the team at Family Bank. They've worked with us very much as part of the AM family. As a partner, they've uh, always wanted to understand our business. In many ways, the name of the bank reflects what they do. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. My name is John Karoga. I'm an exporter of uh, horticultural products. We grow our flowers in Mount Kenya. We do our vegetables in different parts of Kenya. I met people who had been with Family Bank and they encouraged me to join Family Bank. It's about uh, five years now, five to six years. We have been working together. It's working well. I have not regretted since I joined them. They got very professional managers and I keep on telling them, this is to me is like a second home. During the COVID time, they financed me. And I'm very confident that uh, the bank will be with me as I expand the business. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. What is family? Family is a solid foundation to build on and a strong pillar to lean on. It is believing in each one of us for the betterment of all of us. Family is working together today It is creating opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. It is knowing we are valued, respected, understood, and most of all, supported. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank, with you for life. My name is Jaspati Ngama. I'm a director of Kikinga House Limited. There are two more directors. My business entails construction and management of this building. We started banking with Family Bank when it was uh, building society. Actually, Family Bank uh, was a tenant at this building for 23 years. Uh, throughout the journey, we've always had a very good interactive kind of business relationship. When you started building, we also had to change the structure of the building and we had to get for the finance. About 80% was Family Bank. Interestingly, we've never had an account with any other bank. We don't intend to. It's good when you've got a trusted partner. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family.
My name is Moyes Jamal. I'm the Managing Director of Associated Motors Limited. Associated Motors introduced uh, the Isuzu brand of uh, commercial vehicles into Kenya a little over 55 years ago. We've been with Family Bank a little over a year now. We've had a very good experience. There's always interaction between ourselves and, and the team at Family Bank. They work with us very much as part of the AM family. As a partner, they've uh, always wanted to understand our business. In many ways, the name of the bank reflects what they do. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. My name is John Karoga. I'm an exporter of uh, horticultural products. We grow our flowers in Mount Kenya. We do our vegetables in different parts of Kenya. I met people who had been with Family Bank and they encouraged me to join Family Bank. It's about uh, five years now, five to six years. We have been working together. It's working well. I have not regretted since I joined them. They've got very professional managers and I keep on telling them, this is to me is like a second home. During the COVID time, they finance me. And I'm very confident that uh, the bank will be with me as I expand the business. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. What is family? Family is a solid foundation to build on and a strong pillar to lean on. It is believing in each one of us for the betterment of all of us. Family is working together today It is creating opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. It is knowing we are valued, respected, understood, and most of all, supported. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank, with you for life. My name is Jaspati Ngamau. I'm a director of Kikinga House Limited. There are two more directors. My business entails construction and management of this building. We started banking with Family Bank when it was uh, building society. Actually, Family Bank uh, was a tenant at this building for 23 years. Uh, throughout the journey, we've always had a very good interactive kind of business relationship. When you started building, we also had to change the structure of the building and we had to get for the finance. About 80% was financed by Family Bank. Interestingly, we've never had an account with any other bank. We don't intend to. It's good when you've got a trusted partner. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family.
My name is Moyes Jamal. I'm the Managing Director of Associated Motors Limited. Associated Motors introduced uh, the Isuzu brand of uh, commercial vehicles into Kenya a little over 55 years ago. We've been with Family Bank a little over a year now. We've had a very good experience. There's always interaction between ourselves and, and the team at Family Bank. They've worked with us very much as part of the AM family. As a partner, they've uh, always wanted to understand our business. In many ways, the name of the bank reflects what they do. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. My name is John Karoga. I'm an exporter of uh, horticultural products. We grow our flowers in Mount Kenya. We do our vegetables in different parts of Kenya. I met people who had been with Family Bank and they encouraged me to join Family Bank. It's about uh, five years now, five to six years. We have been working together. It's working well. I have not regretted since I joined them. They've got Morning, very professional yeah. managers. And I keep on telling them, this is to me is like a second home. During the COVID time, they financed me. And I'm very confident that uh, the bank will be with me as I expand the business. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. What is family? Family is a solid foundation to build on and a strong pillar to lean on. It is believing in each one of us for the betterment of all of us. Family is working together today It is creating opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. It is knowing we are valued, respected, understood, and most of all, supported. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank, with you for life. Welcome once again. My name is Jasfati Ngamo. I'm a director of Kikinga House Limited. There are two more directors. My business entails construction and management of this building. We started banking with Family Bank when it was uh, building society. Actually, Family Bank uh, was a tenant at this building for 23 years. Uh, throughout the journey, we've always had a very good interactive kind of business relationship. When you started building, we also had to change the structure of the building and we had to get for the finance. Let me take this opportunity to welcome all of us to this uh, morning session where we are celebrating Family Bank on their corporate bond. At a personal level, I couldn't be more proud of our corporate action given the sort of conversations we've been having about resuscitate in the corporate bond market in this country. Some basic housekeeping rules. Kindly let's all keep our phones on silent, not to disrupt the program. The rooms of convenience, you exit via this door, turn to your right, you'll be able to be assisted. 
because we are streaming this live, we kindly request you either exit via that door or that door. We want as minimal movement as possible on this side because it's being taken to the live stream. Let me once again welcome all of us. Uh, we are starting a bit uh, behind schedule, but we shall catch up nonetheless. Uh, also to remind you, uh, we have uh, pyrotechnics down here. So when you get to the bell ringing, you'll see some fireworks. Uh, do not be afraid. We are all safe. I shall be your host for this morning. Julian Samboko is my name. I am the business editor at NTV Kenya. Let's kickstart the program and uh, to get welcoming remarks from the chief executive officer of the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Mr. Jeff Odundo. Before he takes the floor, let me invite uh, my brother here to come and sanitize the surfaces. And anytime someone comes here, we shall sanitize the surface. And just to remind you of COVID protocols, as long as you're seated on that side, please have your mask on and sanitize as much as you can. Thank you. So, um, <coughs> thank you, Julian. Uh, good morning. Um, as I arrived this morning, I met Julian out there, and I was telling him I could do this every day. I could do this bell ringing every day. <laughs> so um, I'm very, very delighted to be here again. Uh, we were here on Monday when we did the launch of uh, uh, the buyback for the NMG. And today we are here again with our chief guest, um, Chairman Dr. Wilfred Kibora again. And uh, we're very delighted. In fact, um, this could actually be a challenge because the last time we had a guest here called Richard Quest from CNN. He was asking me, so how many bell rings are we doing today? And I was like, this has been a while. <laughs> so I think we're going to be getting there <coughs> if we continue with this stride. So Dr. Wilfred Kiboro, Chairman, Family Bank. Members of the Family Bank Board, Mr. Lazarus, happy, nice to see you. Rebecca Mbithi, a good friend, CEO of Family Bank. Wycliffe Shamia, the CEO of the Nairobi, of, sorry, of the Capital Markets Authority. Kiprono Kitoni, the Chairman of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Mr. Morris Opio, Executive Director, NCBA. My classmate, Kature Nyamu, the M Managing Director of NCBA. Thank you very much for making us proud. Jeff Dangler, the CEO of um, Genghis Capital. Um, Bodin Mangongo, the legal advisor to this transaction. Members of the members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure to once again <coughs> welcome Family Bank home. They're making a return to the exchange as we mark the listing of their second corporate bond. Your institution, Mr. Chairman, has recorded tremendous growth. As I was walking here, I was telling I was hearing the Family Bank song, and it's, it's always ringing in my head. So I think you're really getting our share of mind. And it's not lost on investors that you've actually shrugged off the challenges that we faced in the last year's environment. In fact, you, I think, were the one, only one of the few banks that posted extremely excellent results. And uh, we're happy to see you've had a very good compounded annual growth rate of about 21.3%. Mr. Chairman, your bank has equally grown. I know you'll share the statistics of your growth, but we're happy to say that today you're now among the most well-distributed bank in Kenya with a large uh, branch network and agents as well as ATMs platforms. Um, we also say that um, we're proud that you're also one of the first banks to introduce paperless banking. And this has led to your growth in customer base. And hence, I think what we're seeing today is a sign of the confidence of the years of work that you've provided. So we think today is a very befitting day for you, and also a sign that your rich heritage has contributed to the growth right from the days that you were family finance building society, and now you're a leading bank. I know there'll be a major request, uh, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> but we really look forward to Family Bank on this board. <laughs> so the trading of the bond market has been on the upward trajectory. I think we're enjoying, we're seeing a, a, an all-time high in our corporate bond market, especially on the sovereign trading um, bonds. But we also want to see the debt, the corporate debt grow in, equals, in equal measure. And so we think issuances like this will be able to spur that growth. And also, I think um, I was advised this morning by Rebecca that there's a high retail component in this bond. 
we'll be happy to see more retail come into the market through this bond and even see more activity because retail do spur secondary market activity. So we, mine is not to take a, uh, advantage of this situation. I think today is a great day. We all want to make speeches. But to just say that we are delighted that Family Bank has returned to the market and successfully. And we really look forward to more and more issuances uh, out of this um, similar programs and even coming to other and enjoying other products that we have to offer. So on behalf of the management team of the NSC, I want to say congratulations to Family Bank. And we're very happy that you've made us proud and uh, you've spurred back interest into the corporate debt market. So with that, um, I want to say thank you, and I wish you all the best today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jeff, for those uh, welcoming remarks. I should say that uh, I was sharing with the CFO, and one of the sweet spots that I had for this bond is the fact that uh, it came minus a guarantee, it came minus a sinking fund, as compared to what we've seen before. And for me, this is the definitive signal that the corporate bond market is actually back. I want us to tweak the program a bit. And in the interest of time, let me invite the market regulator, Mr. Wycliffe Shamia, who is the chief executive officer at CMA, to give his remarks. Dr. Wilfred Kibor, EPS, Chairman, Family Bank. Mrs. Um, Rebecca Mbidi, Managing Director, Chief Executive, Family Bank. Management and staff of manage ba uh, Family Bank. Chairman of NSC, Chief Executive of A NSC, Chief Executive of CDSC all other chairmen and chief executives in attendance, transaction advisors led by NCBA and Genghis Capital and the lawyers, representatives from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I wish to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks for the invitation to be part of this function here today as we kickstart the trading in Family Bank MTN. Allow me to thank Family Bank Limited and the transaction team led by NCBA Investment Bank uh, for tirelessly working together to ensure the successful issuance of this MTN program. A subscription rate of 147.3% Again, it's a target of about Kenya shillings 3 billion with a green shoe provision of 1 billion was very commendable at this point when uh, appetite for corporate bonds, especially in primary markets, has been low, leave alone the challenges that have come with the effects of COVID-19 pandemic. This indeed is an indicator of the confidence that investors, whether they are institutional or retail, have in Family Bank. <coughs> we note that this is the second successfully issuance of a medium term note by Family Bank, the first issuance having been successfully redeemed uh, in April this year. As regulators, we commit to work very closely with other regulators within the financial sector and the various stakeholders, without whose support the successes we see here today could not have been possible. Our utmost fail thanks to various players within the banking sector, insurance, pensions, private equity funds, venture capital firms, high net worth in investors as well as retailer who have created a dependable local investment base that ensured that the demand side is well taken care of. We shall keep on working with potential issuers to have the supply side uh, providing a variety of good investment grade assets that provide returns well compensating for the funds made avi available. 
I wish to take this opportunity to remind us all that capital markets provide a reliable avenue for raising funds to grow businesses and that there are many products that potential issuers wishing to expand their businesses can make use of. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, the authority has continued to have various reforms within the fixed market segment to address various needs of businesses. Some of these include one, working with other stakeholders, we came up with a policy guidance north for issuance of green bond bonds, which have seen, we, which has seen issuances and a lot of interest in the market. We also are facilitating crowdfunding where we, have, we are in the process of finalizing a suitable legal and regulatory framework. We are also putting in place frameworks on securities lending and borrowing are now again facilitating development of an appropriate market infrastructure that comes with the transparency that is necessary. I wish to loud NSC, CDSC, market players, uh, through their various associations who have continued to support developments we celebrate here today. Once again, on behalf of the board, management and staff of Capital Market Authority, I wish to congratulate Family Bank as they embark on applying the proceeds from the issuance. Thank you and you made us proud. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Wycliffe Shamia, for those remarks regarding this uh, particular issuance. Let me now backtrack a bit and invite uh, transaction advisors, Mr. Maurice Opio from NCBA, to give his remarks. Oh, sorry, I'm told there's a slight change, sorry. Our chief guest, Dr. Wilfred Kiboro, chief executive of the CMA, Mr. Wycliffe Shamia, chairman of the NSC, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni, CEO, NSC, and my classmate, Jeffrey Odundo, managing director and CEO of Family Bank, Ms. Rebecca Mbidi, members of the board, boards of Family Bank, NSC present, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Kadhure Nyamu, and I stand here as the transaction advisor, representing transaction advisors, but I'm the managing director of NCB Investment Bank and truly proud to be standing before you. It is indeed a great day, a day when we witness the listing of the first public corporate bond this year, and indeed after a long spell. As transaction advisors to Family Bank, we are proud and honored to be part of this transaction. We congratulate Family Bank for taking this bold step in reigniting our debt capital markets with its new medium-term note program. The success of this issuance underpins, and I repeat what uh, our CEO, our CMA said, underpins the capability and capacity of the capital markets to offer opportunities for those entities uh, that are seeking to raise funds to meet their strategic um, objectives. More importantly, the success of the family bank bond and its listing today is a testament to the resilience of our capital markets. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the tight liquidity conditions in the market, the bond program received overwhelming support from both local, institutional, and retail investors. And as we've been given the statistics, I will not belabor that, but a 147% uh, performance rate is indeed uh, phenomenal. To the investors, we thank you most sincerely for demonstrating your confidence in Family Bank and participating in this first tranche of the MTN. Ladies and gentlemen, the success we are celebrating here today would not have been achieved were it not for the seamless and efficient execution 
but the advisors that were involved in this transaction and who I represent today. Please allow me to recognize the team that has delivered this, starting with the NCBA Investment Bank, in which I'm a member, who are the lead transaction advisors and placement agent to the issue, Genghis Capital, who are our co-advisors, PwC, the reporting accountants, Mboya Wangongu and Wayaki Advocates, who are legal advisors, MTC Trust, who are the note trustees, Team Sky Media Services, who represented the media and public relations team, and all other advisors who played key roles that ensured the transaction was successful, we thank you. Please may I ask the team to stand so that you just see them and we just recognize them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, our work as transaction advisors was actually born on the shoulders of the family bank management team, led by Ms. Rebecca Mbidi, the managing director. We thank you most sincerely for your support in making this a success. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our regulator, the CMA, and the Nairobi Securities Exchange for their expediency in approving this issuance. And to CDSE, as always, we thank you for your support. Thank you and have a lovely day. Thank you so much, Madam Kadure Nyamu, for those remarks. I should mention that um, in a previous life, I was a transaction advisor, and I do appreciate the level of due diligence that goes into this kind of transaction. So uh, we truly appreciate the effort. It is now my distinct honor to invite the chairman of the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Mr. Kiprono Kitoni, to make his remarks. Dr. Wilfred Kiboro, Chairman of Family Bank, Members of the Family Bank Board uh, present, uh, Rebecca Mbithi, the CEO, Wycliffe Shamia, um, CEO Capital Markets Authority, Jeff Odundo, our CEO here at the Exchange, Maurice Apio, um, Director of NCBA Capital, um, Kathure, who's just spoken before me, Mr. Jeff Gangla, um, CEO of Genghis Capital, my Vice Chairman at the Exchange, uh, my Senior Mr. Wangong, distinguished guests, members of the Fourth Estate, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the exchange this morning, this very cold winter morning in Nairobi, as we ring the bell to mark the listing of Family Bank's second corporate bond on the fixed income market segment of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Family Bank Limited has returned to the market to raise a sum of Kenya shillings eight billion two months after it retired its debut five-and-a-half-year paper. I take this opportunity to congratulate Family Bank on the performance of the medium-term note, which is instrumental in reviving of our uh, corporate bond market. Ladies and gentlemen, Family Bank's bond offer raised Kenya shillings 4.42 billion, a subscription rate of 147.3%, against the 3 billion shilling target, which is wonderful. This performance demonstrates the confidence investors have in Family Bank and affirms the importance of the corporate bond market as a key source of business financing. It is also worth noting that the maturity and payment of the initial bond on the 19th of April this year further boosted uh, confidence and will encourage participation in this current offer. The success of this bond supplements the growth of our corporate bond market and has witnessed a total capital raise of 13.6 billion shillings in the last two years through the issuance of East African Breweries 6 billion shilling bond, Acorns 2.4 billion, and Centums 5.2 billion with interest rates ranging between 12 and 14%. So deep and liquid mar bond markets are essential for a country to enter a sustained phase of development driven by market-determined capital allocation. African bond markets have been steadily growing in the recent years, but nonetheless remained undeveloped, underdeveloped with the corporate bonds registering 
minimum growth when compared to the sovereign bonds market. The overall size of the debt capital markets in the sub-Saharan um, across, sovereign, across, so across sovereign and corporate bonds starts at about 300 billion shillings. While the corporate bond market is nascent, the sovereign debt market has been on a growth trajectory accounting for about 75% of the total outstanding market amounts. It is imperative that interventions to support the corporate bond market be put in place if we are to position it as an attractive source of finance. This form of financing is important, more so during this time, as firms emerge out of the adverse impact of COVID-19 pandemic, and we applaud the government's initiative that have been undertaken to support the growth of this market and appeal to more incentives to enable us increase the uptake and strengthen the supply side of capital markets. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is one of the top 10 fastest growing economies in the continent and also one of the most pro-business nations in Africa. To complement this positioning, the NSC in February this year completed a successful integration of its bond system with Refinitiv, part of the London Stock Exchange Group, fixed income callouts, making Kenya one of the first frontier markets globally to deploy the automated over-the-counter OTC fixed income workflow that integrates with both the Securities Exchange and the Central Securities Depository. The integration offers investors and market participants an automated trading workflow that will improve trade life cycle, reduce operational risks and encourage price discovery and transparency in the bond markets. In the same month, the NSC successfully transitioned to a new state-of-the-art broker connectivity solution powered by Safaricom as our technology partner, consequently increasing trading activity and improving customer experience by its stakeholders. The Kenyan financial markets have, been, have seen significant growth over the past few years, and these partnerships reinforce our commitment to provide the financial community with advanced technologies and workflows. Additionally, it underscores a commitment to offer first best-in-class services, infrastructure solutions, and efficient trading and clearing of financial markets transactions and adoption of global practices as we seek to position NSC as the region's leading financial infrastructure provider. In conclusion, Chairman Kiboro and the entire board of management of Family Bank, the time is ripe for you to join the main market segment. <laughs> and actually, my main job, <laughs> my main responsibility today, apart from congratulating you, <laughs> is to ask the Family Bank Board, please come to where the big boys are. <laughs> We need to see a main market play for Family Bank. Sorry, big boys and girls. <laughs> and we are convinced that with this capital raise, the bank is now poised for greater growth and prosperity. Once again, on behalf of the board of the NSC, I congratulate Family Bank on the successful issuance of their corporate bond and reiterate to you our utmost support as you position your bank for growth. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much, Chairman. I think we all have an indication of who is next on the listing pipeline. <laughs> and we look forward to that, certainly. Um, we now get to the conversation around Family Bank, and let me take this opportunity to invite the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, and also congratulate her on the new appointment of the Kenya Bankers Association. We are truly proud of you. Madam Rebecca Mbithi, come on, sir. The Nairobi Securities Exchange Board Chair, members of the NSC Board present, CEO of the Nairobi Securities Stock Exchange, uh, Godfrey, uh, Geoffrey Odundo, Capital Markets Authority CEO, Wycliffe Shamir, our chairman, uh, Dr. Wilfred Kiboro, our board members present, our management of Family Bank present, our NIC Capital Investment Bank CEO, Executive Director, and all management present, Genghis Capital team present, um, and the partner for Mboyangongu present, 
our customers and everyone joining via live stream, uh, invited guests, members of the press, good morning once again. It's a pleasure to be here today, a great honor for me um, as uh, Rebecca, first and foremost, this is my second time here. Yeah, so I was here five years ago, but in a different capacity. So today I'm here in, a, in another capacity, but to celebrate yet another listing by Family Bank. And Chair, if you see us back, it means that it's not a very bad place to be <laughs> as Family Bank. So we are happy to be here today. It's a familiar territory for us. Uh, you all recall that five and a half years ago, we did issue another corporate bond, an MTN, a two billion MTN during that particular time, also listed in the fixed securities segment. Uh, this is a bond, as you've heard, we've been able to redeem early on this year in April successfully. And we believe as Family Bank, it's a success of that redemption that also has served to give quite a bit of the market uh, confidence we have seen with the successful issuance of this uh, current bond. And Chair, let me say why we are back here today is because we really recognize the liquidity that uh, listing on the NSC does provide for the participants in the MTN. And this is something that also served to give quite a, little, a, a lot of market confidence. And also, as a bank, we are grateful for the fact that um, the listing, yes, does come with a lot of regulatory compliance, but this compliance, like with all other compliance, also serves to then give assurances to the public, to investors, to even other parties that we deal with, that Family Bank is an institution that is happy to comply with the listing regulations, both CMA and NSC regulations. So for us, it's really good to be back, and we are back in a big way, and we've had the challenge you've given us today, and our chairman will be talking to you about it. <laughs> so, um, ladies and gentlemen, this was not an easy journey for us. Uh, when uh, I did talk to a few of uh, my peers in the market, some of our potential investors, a few of them wished me luck. You know what that means. <laughs> so really, I asked myself, wow, they are wishing me luck and they're the people supposed to invest in me, so how will this go? But for me, why this was really a good opportunity for me is the last time that Family Bank was in the market, was also, was also, it was also a very difficult period for us. This was on the back on when we saw a lot of changes in the banking industry. This was a time when we had the likes of the interest caps. We saw shakiness in a few of the banks during that particular time. Yet Family Bank was still able to garner a lot of market confidence and have people investing uh, in our corporate bond. So that gave me the confidence that Family Bank is really a compelling story and who better than Family Bank to still come back into the market during a difficult time. You'll all agree with me this is still a difficult time. We're still in a pandemic. Liquidity is not what it is ordinarily. A lot of people are constrained in terms of what they can be able to do. But the Family Bank story is a compelling story, a compelling story of resilience. This is a bank where in back in 2017 with the interest cap rate, we saw a drop of 38% in our income, net in interest income. And despite that, we've been able to rebound. Uh, we've seen a compounded annual uh, growth rate in our interest income of 13.4%. This is between 2017 to 2020. So in terms of also a growth in our PBT, we've seen our profitability, uh, compounded annual growth rate in our profitability of 21.3% from 2016 to 2020. So this basically is a good story of resilience which has been captured by consistent growth uh, on a lot of our foundational parameters, giving the market assurance of business recovery and growth. Uh, from 2018 and beyond. During this period also, Family Bank has been able to transition itself from being purely a micro lender to a bank that is offering an universal banking proposition, which has been able to see us drive growth and profitability. The bank has grown in leaps and bounds, has positioned itself as a leader, especially in the digital space, 
customer responsiveness. This has seen us win accolades in terms of the best tier two bank, digital experience and customer responsiveness. This is according to a Kenya Bankers customer satisfaction survey. Accolades such as being the best SME bank uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Kenya 2017 Bankers East African Awards. So the story of Family Bank is one of how an institution can be able to transform it itself into a place where then uh, you shake off what are perhaps some of the most difficult challenges the banking industry has been able to go through. Now, in 2020, to t we launched our strategic plan, which we have dubbed as Family Bank Takeoff in which we aim to position ourselves as a very customer-centric bank with customers on top of our mind, where we are building unmatched capability in people, technology, and infrastructure, and also seeking operational excellence through improving our system's reliability. And this is why, um, dear uh, ladies and gentlemen, we actually made the decision to go into the market to raise our bond so that we can be able to achieve this very aggressive strategic plan. We should be able to see the bank gets itself, get itself into tier one uh, status. So to fund this aggressive growth, we sought to raise the eight billion uh, tranche in MTN which we are happy here to be celebrating the success by raising the first tranche of 4.42 billion, which is obviously well above the 3 billion target, the above the 1 billion uh, green shoe option marking, as you've heard before, 147% uh, subscription. Again, despite a very tough market, a very tough microeconomic uh, environment. And just to reiterate what the speakers before me have said, this is a true testament of the market confidence in our brand, in our strategy, in our leadership of our board here and management of Family Bank. So we want to say that uh, this capital that we have raised as Family Bank will enable us then to show up our capital base, support this growth that we've talked about, invest in our ICT infrastructure, new product initiatives that really continue to position this bank strongly in the market, including also supporting an onward, our onward lending activities, a lot of which are aimed at our SMEs, who are one of the key drivers of our economy today. So I would like to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to all our investors. Really thank you for your support, all the investors. We owe this success to you, both the individuals and the corporates who've put their trust in Family Bank. Some of you invested in us five years ago. You've been able to come back and invest in us once more supporting our capital raising plans. This would also not have been possible without the family bank team that was really at the back of supporting me, our CFO, our company secretary, and all the family bank management and team and the staff of family bank that really also were, uh, to, played a key role in the sale of the bond, especially to our retail investors. Thank you, team. We celebrate you, and this success is because of you. Again, just to take the opportunity to recognize once again the transaction advisors who've been listed here today. Thank you very much, NCBA Investment Group, Genghis Capital, PwC, our reporting accountants, MTC, who are our note trustees, Boya Wangongu, thank you very much. You've been with us for the last two issuances also, and our media group, Team Sky uh, Media Services, and uh, anybody I may have left, we also recognize uh, your participation. Just to thank the NSC once more and CMA for really the support you've accorded us over the years. The compliance requirements have not been onerous. We've been happy to comply. But thank you for your support and providing this platform once more. So with these very few remarks, I wish to then welcome our chairman, uh, Dr. Wilfred Kimboro, just to make his remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, thank you, Rebecca, uh, for those uh, words. And um, before I start, I want to thank very sincerely the chairman of uh, NSC, uh, Kiprono, the, the C CEO of uh, Capital Markets Authority, Weekly, um, the NCBA, our transaction advisors, and all the other people, uh, Wangongu, who is our, uh, takes care of our legal matters in, in, in this kind of matters, and all the invited guests. I want to thank you so much for being with us this morning. I think Rebecca has said pretty much whatever I wanted to say, so I will not, uh, I'll be very, very brief. But uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, as you know, this is the second time this week that we are meeting on this floor. And I uh, just wanted to say that uh, it's really a, a pleasure for me to witness the increasing activity and refreshing vibrancy of the Securities Exchange. Uh, after a very difficult uh, trading period in 2020, caused primarily by the COVID-19 pandemic disruptions that we all saw. I think, Mr. Chairman, an active uh, securities exchange, I think is a good barometer, barometer of uh, maybe the state of health of the economy. And therefore, when we see people listing, you know, people coming to, you know, coming to uh, have all kinds of products like we are doing today, like what we did in the nation and what we are doing today at the family bank, I think gives us uh, people in the business community the confidence that uh, in fact maybe the worst of the pandemic is behind us and I think the, the, the economy is beginning to, you know, to, to pick up. And I think this is very, very, very comforting. At um, Family Bank, we are very happy to be part of that process and to be, make our own contribution towards the revival of the, of the exchange. I think uh, last year, we, I think people like the, the guys in the business daily, uh, we were, getting very worried about, uh, it, was, it was always bad news. You hear the stock exchange, the investors lost 20 billion overnight, another 50 billion overnight, you know, through the, you know, when the, the stocks plummeted. And the, uh, Julian here, they never stopped giving us, you know, bad news. <laughs> a and uh, we, we were just wondering, when will we hear the good news that, you know, people are making a little bit of money? We are just being told, you know, you have lost this, you have lost that, and then we, at what point will, will we hit the, the bottom line, the zero, when <laughs> our stocks in, in the market are worth zero? Mr. Chairman, um, so we are very happy, therefore, as, uh, uh, as the family bank to be part of this, you know, the, the, to, to, be, to see the activity, the vibrancy that is going on around. And we hope that we will not be the, the last ones. I hope other people other in the market will also take take a leaf of this and come to you know to the to, to the market to raise uh, you know money for their for, for their businesses. But here here, chairman, to launch the family bank five 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 and a half years corporate bond. As you are no doubt aware, we are targeted three billion, and uh, with a green shoe option of one billion. And as, as you have just heard, it was oversubscribed very very heavily, and we we are very proud and happy that uh, the, con the investors had confidence to come and invest with Family Bank. Uh, as I think was alluded earlier, the bond market in this uh, stock exchange has not been one of the best investments. I think we, we saw particularly in, in those years, uh, there was some turbulence with the, with the, with the, with the, with the corporate bonds. Uh, when some of the people, the issuers, uh, there was some default. And I think that was very very, very unfortunate, and it also came at a time when the financial market here in Kenya was going through some very turbulent times. And that eroded the confidence of you know, people investing in the bonds. But I'm happy to see that uh, I think the, the investors have taken the view that, uh, you know, not, uh, what shall we say, if one guy defaults in uh, the bond, that th then the whole uh, uh, you know, product is, is wrong. I think uh, we are very happy that um, you know the investors have looked at each person coming to the pass, uh, to the to the market in their own right, and also you know look at the financials and the financial stability of that institution. I'm sure they look at uh, who is at the leadership of that institution. They look at the board, who is in the board member. 
kama ni mtu amekula kuku ya mtu you know stay, stay, stay away i'm i'm happy to say that uh, at family bank you have never had and you'll not hear at least not during my watch anybody eating somebody else chicken we 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 believe that uh, you know what <laughs> we believe in integrity we believe in good corporate governance we believe that you know when people come and trust us with your money we have a responsibility to ensure that they, they get their return back and we have done that i think every single like a coin that people who are invested in the previous bond that we had we paid on time every every time so and also redeeming that when we, on, on the due date i think gave us the confidence in the market and so on so i'd like to say also what to watch ukora don't come to the market because you know it is an easy way out you come and con people you know give me the bond you have this or these big good ideas knowing very well that in fact <laughs> you know what you are planning to do with that money is not what you you're telling the market to do so uh, we we at family bank i would like to say that um, what we say is what we do and i think uh, the purpose for raising this bond is very clear this is to actually help to improve our balance sheet it will help us in our lending it will help us to increase to to improve our our capital ratios which will also help us to to be able to grow because as you've had our intention finally is to become a tier 1 bank it is within our strategic plan 2020 to 2024 we do hope to come to to become a tier 1 to to achieve the tier 1 status and uh, the returns for the bond i think have been very good and i think as the chairman said you know the the, the reason was that we have say, uh, we have uh, had they have been listing at around between 12 and 14 percent i don't think there are many uh, any markets around the world where you get that kind of re uh, return and we have had many times you know when people can say oh you know particularly talking about the foreign investors they come and say yeah it's 14 percent but you know there will be the the depreciation we don't know where this currency is going and therefore even though they are giving us 14 we are never sure whether that 14 is going to be minus 14 mm -hmm. after the currency is depreciated you know the doomsayers in, in are not are not few and and i think as africans we we really need to tell our story and we need to tell our success story so that um, if there were one or two things and also by the way what happened in this uh, this exchange on the board market people made it look as if it was the only thing that ever happened in this world i think if you look at some other markets even developed markets the consequences of some of the things that have happened have been much much greater than what we've done here so let us not beat ourselves too much and saying uh, that you know whatever happened therefore we we don't do away we do away with the bonds i think what is important is actually to learn from those what happened uh, why why did we have those defaults in those people who who issued the bonds and therefore if we learn from those mistakes we can then sort ourselves out to ensure that in fact that kind of product can be in the market and also people can actually invest with confidence knowing that they are, they are not going to lose their money ladies and gentlemen um i am particularly happy that uh, at family bank we have shown the way that in fact you can invest you can we can take people's money and pay on time and give them a good return there was quite a lot of you know discussion as whether the the the, the rate was the right rate uh, to pay but uh, i think even the last one when we came in 2016 people said you know how how are you ever going to repay this money at that kind of rate i think it was 13 percent of th that but i must say that uh, at the end of the day we, we we actually made money from it i think it, 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 people just look at it simplistically in terms of you know if you borrow this money how much are you going to lend it to the other people and all that but that's not how the banks are i think the, the fundamentals are much more complex than that and i think even at that rate it's still a good rate because we'll be able to make sure that you know people get uh, get, 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 get a good return to, to a good return on their investment um Ladies and gentlemen, um, as you have heard, uh, and this is why to, I want to reassure, because as you heard, this is only the first tranche of what we are trying to raise through the corporate bond. We are in for the market for tw eight, 8 billion shillings, and this is the first one. I just want to reassure the people who are wishing to invest in this bond that your money is completely, completely safe with Family Bank. Okay? We are people who believe in integrity, 
We are people who believe in good corporate governance. We believe in actually, you know, uh, we treat our, all our customers as family. And that is why particularly there are not many um, banks which experience a run on their deposit and survive. And Family Bank is the only bank that I know that had a run on their deposits in 2016 and actually lived to tell the tale. And the reason for this is very simple because of our close connection with our customers. Our retail customers did not run away, you know, when the, the, the bank hit uh, some turbulent headwinds. They stayed with us, and that is all the more reason why, in fact, if you keep your customers closer to you, you have a long-term you know, long business. So, Mr. Chairman, um, thank you very much, uh, you know, for all the assistance you have given us, the, the, our regulator. I think you, you, we, we want to thank you for very uh, approving uh, this bond very expeditiously. I think all the things that we wanted to do, we got them on time. And again, thank very much all those people who have, um, who have invested in this. And uh, to also say that um, we are on track in our 2020, 2024 strategic plan. Uh, we started the year very well. Uh, last year, you, you heard that um, we, imp we, we posted very, very good results. In fact, we, our, we, we had a slight improvement over the uh, previous uh, 2019, while most banks actually, even the big boys and big girls, uh, they, they, they saw quite a bit of a, a dip in their profit. So, so we are one of the few banks actually which actually increased their PBT from the previous year, and we, we are we are very we are we are very proud about that, and also this year again, so that people don't think that it was a a flash in the pan, uh, we have actually continued with that trend. Quarter one was exceptionally good, and also I think you know we are looking at a very very good first half year, and everything uh, being equal, unless of course we get other you know shutdowns across the country. We are looking forward to having a very, very good year this year. With regard to listing on the, <laughs> on, on the stock exchange, I think I want to confirm, yes, that the Family Bank wants to come to list on, on the... On the, on the. <laughs> what, 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 what we are doing at the moment is, you know, you know if you have a wedding and uh, you are a bride, you need to pamper, you know, the, the, the bride. So what we are doing at the family bank is actually making the, the, the bride very, very beautiful to bring it to the, to, the, to, the, to the stock exchange and also to make sure that we get a good dowry. You know, the, the, so, 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 so the, the dowry is also important. You know, we don't want somebody to come with a chicken or something like that. You know, because the, the, the bride will be very, very attractive and uh, we, uh, we j j just be patient. You know, the suitors that are there, just be patient, we'll be there. Um, so and <laughs> allow me to, to, to end there. And um, uh, once again, to thank all the institutions and all the investors who, are, who, have, um, who have supported us. And as a proudly all Kenyan owned bank, we are also very, very proud because we are all Kenyan. You know, we are all Kenyan. You know, the family bank is all Kenyan. We are, and we are very proud about that fact, and we pledge to continue working and supporting this capital market and also the NSE in the years to come, and uh, we are looking forward to your cooperation. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Chairman, for your remarks and uh, for the raft of issues you've covered. When this uh, announcement was made public, the CFO and I had very tough conversations about the pricing of this bond, but I'm glad uh, that we are here today. So for our next exercise, we should be engaging in the bell ringing and now to request assistance because we need to move this lectern uh, to begin with. And if possible, could I get a revolving mic? Uh, because I'll need it for that exercise.
Asante. Mic check. Thank you. Fantastic. Could you also just kindly please remove this? So it's a little minutes, uh, a few minutes rather, after nine o'clock. Jeff, I'm sorry. Yeah. But <laughs> I want to invite um, to the dice the following. We shall do this in two parts. Allow me, to, um, actually just one, I think, because uh, Mr. Shamia left. Let me invite the chairman, Family Bank, Dr. Wilfred Kimoro. Let me invite the CEO of Family Bank, Madam Rebecca Mbithi. Let me invite Mr. Kiprono Kitoni, NSC chairperson. Let me invite uh, Jeff Odundo as well. I am valued yes. and always respected. Yes. I'm totally supported. Just a bank, you see, who's in the family? the merrier, clearly. <laughs> I am valued yes. and always respected. Yes. I'm totally supported yes. and I'm connected. Yes. It is not just a bank to me. It is not just a bank. You see, who's on the family? You may resume your seats. I am valued yes. and always respected. Yes. I'm totally supported. Yes. And I'm connected. Yes. It is not just a bank to me. It is One not two, just uh, a bank. Before we close you the see, who's on the family?
and this particular exercise I am celebrating the market. We are here for the market development. That's, that's the core business, really. And uh, Jeff, as often as we can do this, yes. we're delighted to do it. Yeah. Thank you so much. So guests will be free to leave at their own pleasure and leisure. Asanteni sana for your time this morning. Thank you. My name is John Karoga. I'm an exporter of uh, horticultural products. We grow our flowers in Mount Kenya. We do our vegetables in different parts of Kenya. I met people who had been with Family Bank and they encouraged me to join Family Bank. It's about uh, five years now, five to six years. We have been working together. It's working well. I have not regretted since I joined them. They got very professional managers, and I keep on telling them, this is to me is like a second home. During the COVID time, they financed me. And I'm very confident that uh, the bank will be with me as I expand the business. Our customers are family, and we want you to know that you can always bank on family. What is family? Family is a solid foundation to build on and a strong pillar to lean on. It is believing in each one of us for the betterment of all of us. Transaction advisors, there's a special request for your photo. NCBA, Genghis. Family is working together today. Opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. It is knowing we are valued, respected, understood, and most of all, supported. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank, with you for life. My name is Jasfati Ngama. I'm a director of Kikenga House Limited. There are two more directors. My business entails construction and management of this building. We started banking with Family Bank when it was a building society. Actually, Family Bank uh, was a tenant at this building for 23 years. Uh, throughout the journey, we've always had a very good interactive kind of business relationship. When you started building, we also had to change the structure of the building and we had to get for the finance. About 80% was financed by Family Bank. Interestingly, we've never had an account with any other bank. and We don't intend to. It's good when you've got a trusted partner. Our customers are family and we want you to know that you can always bank on family.